All right, guys, welcome back to another Trailmakers video. And today I'm going to be bringing Starfield into Trailmakers by building the Frontier, the starting ship you get at the beginning of the game. And uh, hopefully this turns out pretty good. All right, so I have reference images pulled up of the ship. So hopefully that will help me build it as accurately as I can. I'm not going to try to build it to scale, uh, basically just because if I build it that large, I will probably run into the complexity limit and I really don't want that to happen. I'm looking at this image that has all the pieces separated and the main hull of the ship is going to have everything else connected to it. So I think that's probably the most important thing to build. It's going to be pretty simple. Okay, I think this is a good size. I'm not going super detailed yet. I'll kind of build it out and then figure out stuff from there. It does doesn't really look that good, but it's just kind of going to serve as the center of the build. So I don't think it really needs to look good because it's going to be covered up by all the other parts. Okay, I'm going to have to build a custom cockpit. Uh, I'll have the operator seat in it and then we'll build out like the windshield and stuff that really makes it look like the one in the game. To make the windshield, I basically just mess around with the wedges until it looked about right. And uh, I would not suggest making your blocks transparent before you're done building with them. Building with transparent pieces is quite confusing. After the windshield was complete, I could build the rest of the, I guess, casing of the cockpit. And I tried to get the shapes as close to how they are in game, but some of the angles were pretty hard to achieve at least for me it's definitely got a good way to go it's still pretty blocky additionally something I added were some of the accessory parts to try to add some more variance in the texture of the cockpit okay i finally think this cockpit is looking pretty good it's pretty close to the one in the image and uh i've got the nice windshield uh, i don't know if i'm gonna keep it transparent or i might paint it like a shiny black because i feel like transparent doesn't really look quite too good i don't know though i try to add a good amount of the details from the image into the cockpit um like its shape so um now the next thing i need to build is the landing gear uh and also it kind of has some vtol type capabilities uh like watching a clip of this thing flying up the ship uh, uses the landing gear to take off as well. It's not just landing gear. Each of the four legs has thrust that goes up. And then once it's at a certain altitude, they turn and the ship can fly away. So it's pretty much VTOL. So uh, I need to attach one of those onto each of these four little square thingies that I kind of built out on the hull. So I got to start in designing that. So this is where we start running into some logistical problems that I have to spend a lot of time to figure out because I have never ever, not even once, I think, built a VTOL system in Trailmakers. One jet on this looks good, but I am worried if that's gonna be enough thrust, but we will see, cause this thing is definitely getting quite heavy. And then to build the rest of the leg, I went ahead and cut the camera because it took way too long, but uh, let's go see how I did. I think what I built looks pretty close to accurate and is looking pretty promising if there's some modifications, but I built the landing gear it looked a little better and then I had to change it a bit so that it actually worked, but I think it still looks pretty good. And let me show you, it actually stands. So that's good. And then I can activate the thrust. It can't really take off because it's not very balanced, but at least there's enough thrust to get it off the ground. And then also if I press one, they all angle forward, which is exactly what I need. So that's looking pretty good. The next thing I need to build is the actual engines, which are gonna go in the back and make this thing actually fly. I'm thinking I could maybe try to incorporate a large jet into the engine, but we'll see. It kind of matches the shape. It's not gonna be exact, but kind of matches the shape of like this little top curve bit on it. And then if I build out some of the more geometric bits, it might work. The engines in Starfield have quite a complex figure and trying to build around the jet engine in Trailmakers was a little difficult. And I will say that I feel like this is one of the parts of the ship that I didn't quite nail. Uh oh, complexity limit is starting to appear. Luckily though, I feel like we're gonna be able to make it. Okay, well, I guess before I continue, I should probably test the build. Cause now we have, I think like all the functional bits aside from like the weapons. 
installed so we should probably test how it's working and then i gotta obviously make like the middle part look good because if we're looking at it uh it looks definitely like it's missing some stuff but let's see so if we press space yeah it's not really strong enough quite not quite there uh Oh my goodness. These engines are on backwards. I always do that. I don't know why I think this looks like the correct way, uh, but I always do think that. Okay, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Try taking off though. So space is for these ones. They don't really have enough upwards thrust. I might have to hide some stuff in the hull to take off better. And then shift is this. Okay, that's pretty wonk. Okay, if I do something like... Oh, shoot, bro. Uh, this problem didn't end up being that bad. I just repositioned the engines a bit, and we were pretty much good. Okay, let's see if it the landing gear can tuck back now. Oh, okay, it's slightly colliding, but like it's not really that bad, so that might actually have fixed it. I really don't think I thought much about how this logistically is going to function because I mainly just thought about how it looks. I think I should probably try to get it to function better before I just continue adding stuff for looks. We have this whole empty space uh, that is the hull that we can definitely use to get this thing functioning. All right, so now it's time for me to start fixing the mess of a ship that I have built. Uh, my first brilliant idea I came up with was to use a bunch of gimbal jets to help take off. Uh, definitely not kind of cheating. Okay, so now we can definitely take off and fly around, kind of. All right, well, I'm going to continue working on trying to get this to function better. And then once I do, I'll come back and then we'll add the finishing details to make it look better and like actually complete. Okay, I have been working on the ship for quite a while and uh, I think I finally have it at a point where it's pretty functional. Besides, I just remembered that I need to add steering. But other than that, I think it's pretty functional. I stabilized it in the air. So if we give it a test, you can see we can take off. Oh, I need to configure those back thrusters, but that's all right. And then angle forward. We're going forward, and we can also use the very back jets. It's kind of loud. I don't know how loud it is on the videos. Hopefully, it's not too loud, but uh, yeah, so we're going. I have no control over where we're going, though, other than forward, so that is something I need to add. And then I can finally add all the finishing touches to make it actually look good and then also add the weapons. Basically all I had done to make the ship work was add stabilization with some angle sensors and helicopter engines. But uh, yeah, that took me way too long to figure out. Anyways, now to add steering, all I did was add a helicopter engine because uh, that's nice and simple. Let's see if the steering is actually practical. So we're going forward. If we go, trying to go right. Okay. Trying to go left. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. It's definitely very uh, slow moving. It's not very agile, but I mean, I don't think the actual spaceship is very agile because it's not really meant to work like that. I need to build the top part, which has some different things, it has also the fuel tank strapped onto it, some of the weapons, and I need to build the cargo hold down below. So, ah, uh, it's still a lot to build, and I've been working on this for a couple of hours, but hopefully with this, these additions, it'll look pretty cool. I can give it a paint job, and we will be done. Once again, for this part of the ship, I tried to match the shapes in the picture as best as I could, but it's Trail Makers, so it's not 100% accurate. But there was one detail that I got pretty spot on. The fuel tanks in the picture like look almost exactly like medium pontoon, so I'm gonna go ahead and use them. Then, to finish the ship, I equipped it with some weapons, not accurate to the game, and then I built a cargo bay around the stabilizer to hide it. All right, guys, I have finally completed the frontier. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Here it is. I went ahead and colored it all up, uh, finalized all the little things I wanted to add to it. Uh, it's surprisingly, it's a pretty complex build, but it isn't even near the complexity limit. Like, well, it is, because obviously it's shown up, but it's, it's not like, pushing complexity so that's pretty good um that was one of my goals to not make it super complex but uh i went ahead and colored all the things 
semi-accurately. It's not 100%, but I definitely think it looks like the ship. But uh, let's go ahead and give it one final test, and then we'll end the video. So we can take off here. Uh, we have the guns and the rockets, which don't seem to be a good idea to use. So are the rockets actually not working? I don't know. Okay, that was maybe a fluke. I don't know. Uh, the rockets may be iffy, but anyways. Take off. Switch into flight mode. We can steer left and right. That's pretty cool. And, uh... Oh, this looks like... This just looks sick. Shooting. Okay, yeah, the rockets didn't destroy me that time. So, yeah, we got miniguns. We have rocket launchers. And, oh, this just looks cinematic. Oh. I actually wonder, can I go in for a landing? We have landing gear. Let's try to land in this desert. So, if we put the landing gear down, we just kind of wait. Let's see if, if I can actually pull off a landing here. We don't want to be going too fast, so let's be careful here. Okay. It's looking like we might be able to. Uh, okay. And if it stops sliding, then we're good. We did it! This thing actually is not that bad. Like, this is, this is probably, this might be my best build actually I've ever made. It looks like the actual ship for the most part, and it actually functions. Dang. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy another one of my building videos on the screen right now. And uh, go ahead and tell me what you think about this one in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see me do anything with this super cool build in the future. And with that, We'll just see you in the next one. Bye.